Day 187 of the 100 pound 365 day body transformation is here. We are calling an audible. Let's go. Welcome everybody to day 187. I'm so thankful you're here and I cannot tell you how thankful I am to be here. If you're anything like me, the diet always starts tomorrow. Well, it's tomorrow somewhere and this is the channel where we're bringing you along on a daily to show you exactly what we're doing to lose 100 pounds in 365 days. Please, if you haven't yet, I can subscribe, hit notifications. We're really working hard and kind of part of the reward that we get is that we know we're getting to share with other people. Time for wait for the day. We are on day five of the 203s and I say that stinks I don't want to go through all these days again of the 203 I just don't want to like we did on the 210s remember that we hit that plateau forever it felt like so I'm going to call an audible today and try to get ourselves out of this as quickly as possible so today I lost 0.2 pounds that was great that put me at 203.1 pounds which was great we have a total weight loss so far of 85.3 pounds, which is totally bitchin'. And we have left to lose 14.7 pounds. So everything's great, except we are in day five of the 203s. And I don't want this to go on for 10 days or so. So I am going to call an audible today and I'm gonna share with you in just a second what that audible is. Please, if you're getting anything from this content, please go down and like and subscribe. We sure would appreciate it. It would mean a lot to us. We've been really working hard on the channel and it just means so much when we get your confidence and it really is an honor that you would subscribe and like and hit notifications. And we would just appreciate it if you did. The current 30 day challenge, you guys. I'm so excited about it. We are on day seven. Our current goal is 2.74 pounds. And so far we have lost 2.1 pounds of it. So that's good. We have 0.64 pounds to go and I think we are going to hit it and I cannot wait to hit it because I want to set some new goals as soon as possible. Did I outlast the fast? Yes, I outlasted the fast. I got done eating yesterday at 12 and it was totally good. One hour of fasting and you know the reason, it's that beautiful keto. Keto makes the fast work and so it's just such a great thing, you guys. Please, if you haven't yet, I can subscribe. To All right, so I'm gonna call an audible today. This is a experiment that I've been wanting to do for a while and this experiment is going to be to have a free day but with keto food. So I'm not gonna go out of keto. I'm gonna stay at 50 carbs or below. We'll see how that does for my glucose and my keto. I think I won't have any issue at all. I looked it up and it said 50 or below should keep you in keto. I'm in a super high level of keto though. It'll probably bring me down to a more moderate level, which is fine. I don't care as long as I don't go out of it. But we'll see what happens. My anticipation of this is going to be, I'm basically gonna eat way more calories today and see if that sort of shocks my body and allows it to really start losing weight again like my other free days have done where I've eaten a lot of carbs, a lot of fat, and a lot of calories. The last time I think I ate over 4,000 calories that day, I ate like 200 grams of fat that day and I had like, I don't remember what it was, but it was like 5,000 grams of carbs. I mean, it was like carb me. So this sounds gonna be much different. I'm going to limit these other things. We'll see how it goes. I don't, honestly, I am so eager to see how this happens. And like when I'm on my other side of this, if it really makes a difference or not, I'm so excited to find this out and it's gonna be cool. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I am just thinking that what, what I'm anticipating and I know that I say this all the time in tips. I'm expecting, which you know from the tips, is the absolute worst thing I could possibly do is expect. You've gotta manage expectations. But when I say that, I'm totally expecting this to not go the way of like a regular free day. That would be my first expectation. Now, I'm gonna take that out of my head and I'm gonna leave it at the curb, but I'm just telling you that to me, if I don't go out of keto and I stay in keto, my weight should not jump like it does on a day where I go out of keto. So we are going to see, I am so excited about seeing it. If, if my weight goes up like it does on free day, I really think, I was thinking about this and I really think that I'll be disappointed because of course there's things during the period of time between free days that I think to myself, oh, you know, I would like to have that on my next free day. Oh, and I really love to cook and I like to, I like to make stuff, you know? And so on a free day, a lot of the fun for me is being able to do that cook and do all these things. And so I've been cooking for, for family and stuff 
but I haven't been able to eat a lot of it or anything. And so, you know, th these are things like, for example, a great example of this is in the freezer, I have a bunch of Girl Scout cookies because I cannot wait for a free day because I'm going to eat me some Girl Scout cookies. So stuff like that, you know, that I'm just delaying that enjoyment and I'll have it on a day because I'm going to keep free days going. I think that's one of the things I've learned in this adventure is free days are good. So anyways, we'll see what happens. Those are my expectations. I'm totally going to manage those expectations as I told you them. I wanted you to know up front what I was thinking, but now I'm gonna to try to get rid of them and not think about them anymore. So if that makes any sense, hopefully it does. If not, watch some of the tips of the day for before. All right, my tip of the day today, these tips are just like little things that I've been learning on the adventure here. And I just wanna share them with you because they've really been helpful to me. And I thought maybe they'd help somebody out there too. So don't be afraid to try and experiment. I mean, that's what I'm gonna do here. I feel like I'm in this rut again. I saw it in the 210 and once I had that free day, my weight initially went up a little bit, but just came all the way down to the 203s real quick. Now I wanna see if that'll happen if I do this keto. So I'm willing to experiment. I'm willing to try and figure this stuff out. And I'm trying to learn from these different experiments that we've been having. I've been writing down the results and all that. So don't freak out if the experiment doesn't go your way or how you were expecting. You got plenty of time. You guys, we've got our whole lives ahead of us to be able to work on getting this weight off of our bodies. and. We can do it. Like we, if we just don't think about this short period, we just think, okay, for the rest of my life, I'm gonna, I've got time to make this happen. You and I can do anything. We've got plenty of time to make this happen. We don't have to freak out or anything if one experiment doesn't go the way we want. That's how I'm thinking to manage expectations. That's what I'm thinking about. And so make sure you're clear on the objective. And so my objective on this free day is to test out whether doing a keto free day where I up my calories and I up my carbs and all that, but I keep them within the keto limits that I would need, not the calories, but the carbs. What effect is that gonna have on me for weight loss and all those things? That's my experiment. That's really the objective here is to find that out. Now, the next thing you wanna do once you have that objective clear, cause you're gonna forget the objective if you're anything like me, if it doesn't go away that you want it, if I gain weight and it doesn't come off too quick, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be like, what the heck did I do that for? I feel so stupid, I'm so dumb, what in the world? I gotta have that objective written down and then I gotta have it posted somewhere in my house so that I can look at it when I feel discouraged or bummed out. I can think to myself, oh no, don't worry. It, it's not going the wrong way. You wanted to see how this was going to affect your body. This is how it's affecting it. Calm down, everything's good. So write it down and put it up somewhere so it reminds you to look at it because honestly, that has been such a massive help to me in this adventure and losing all this weight this quickly. It's just been, because it's such a mental game, you guys. This whole thing, the weight that I've had on my body. If you got weight on your body, you don't want it. the weight you've had. It's just mental. And it's a matter of figuring out how we can get rid of it and then move on. So anyways, I know if I can do this, you can do it. There is no doubt about it because I think I've been the worst offender in eating poorly and not exercising, doing all this stuff you're not supposed to do. And so if you're going on your own adventure, go and check with your doctor. I am no expert. I'm just showing you what a dude on the internet is trying out for himself, but it is, I'm not recommending it for you. Go and talk to your doctor, find out what's right for you. But man, what I do recommend is going and getting that done as soon as possible, figuring it out and starting as soon as possible because you can do it. I'm telling you, if I can do it, no doubt you can do it for sure. Anyways, you guys, it was so good to see you today. Check out these before and after pictures. I am so amazed at the transformation already and we're nowhere close to where we're gonna be because honestly, like I can't wait till this next phase where we really get into exercise and, and weightlifting and things. I think that's gonna be a massive next transformation, right? I'm so excited about what I see already. Write me down in the comments and let me know if you see anything. Please, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe, hit notifications. We're really working hard and kind of part of the reward that we get is that we know we're getting to share with other people. And if you could do that, I sure would appreciate it. If you know anybody who would like it, please recommend the channel to them. We just so appreciate it. So we appreciate all that, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Check out this next video and we'll see you tomorrow.